Hi. So uh, Stephanie mentioned earlier, um, I started, I've been a reporter for decades, and a lot of that time I wasn't a, a medical reporter. I did general news and politics and all sorts of other things. Uh, and in 2000, I got assigned to the health beat at the Canadian Press, which was very broad. I had to do anything health-related that came down the pike, and I was a, a department of one. So I was pretty much doing the latest cancer study and uh, you know whatever else was happening. And then in 2003, SARS hit Toronto, which was where I happened to live. I mean, SARS hit a bunch of places, but I happened to be at one of the ground zeros, and I'd never covered an outbreak before, had no clue what an r naught was. The first time I really knew anything about that was Mark Glipsich taught me about that. Um, and I was hooked. I found it fascinating. It was exciting. It was this interesting mix of health and news. Like you had to, it, it was a news story with, it was health wrapped up in a news story. And I knew how to in, um, cover a news story. And so I really liked that combination. And uh, in the years since, I have tried to focus on infectious diseases when I can. I haven't always been able to do it exclusively. I'm currently at STAT. I have been for three years. And there my beat is uh, infectious diseases and global health, which is kind of um, the biggest luxury I can imagine as a journalist. <laughs> um, and you know, there I write about flu. And this morning I was writing about you know what is monkeypox and uh, also could HIV transmission actually be stopped? And I don't know what I'll be doing tomorrow, but it'll be something. I don't write as many stories these days as Karen does. I don't write as few as you do. <laughs> I'm somewhere in the middle. Um, I, um, I think one of the things Stephanie wanted me to f focus on was the fact that I typically don't travel. Uh, it's not because I have an aversion to it. I like to do it in my own time. but. At the Canadian press, there was no money for me to go to any of the places that you know these stories were happening in. So I learned other ways into the story. For instance, with Ebola, one of the reasons I started writing about that a lot was because a lot of the um, work on therapeutics and vaccines was done at Canada's national lab in Winnipeg. In fact, the vaccine that's currently being used in West Africa, or not West Africa, excuse me, in DRC was designed at Canada's National Lab. So I wrote about the science of Ebola, and that sort of drew me into coverage of outbreaks in the ways that I can. I can't obviously talk about what things are happening on the ground in detail or how it's affecting people, like individual people, but I can talk about trends and I can talk about the way an outbreak is going and, and sort of project about what the problems might be or um, uh, whether things are going well or badly, and I would say right now they're going badly. Um, uh, so, like I said, I think I'm probably one of the luckiest journalists around, and I might just leave it there. Well, Holland, give us a little bit of background on STAT, and sort of what is it? Okay, so, what does it do? good point. Um, STAT was started three years ago. I mean, Three years ago this month, I started working in Boston, um, and we went live on November 4th of 2015. It is sort of an offshoot of the Boston Globe. We are not a division of the Boston Globe, but we are owned by Boston Globe Media Partners. Um, we are online. We cover health. Uh, we share content, too, with the Globe. So if they want any of our stories, they can print them in the paper. But our main home is online. We cover health broadly. Uh, these days, a little less broadly than we did when we started. When we started, we sort of cast a very wide, you know, <laughs> took a big, big frame. And um, as we've sort of worked to find our audience and um, get to sustainability, because you know, you have to break even. Um, we have sort of narrowed the focus some as a reflection of the interests of the people who actually will pay to read stat, which is a growing number, but you know, we're still working on it. www.statnews.com. 